Thanks for joining us on the Light of Life podcast with Bishop Nathaniel Bond. Whether it is through worship or serving our generation, it is our endeavor to create an environment and opportunities for everyone to become empowered to live the lives that God has called us to live. If you like what you hear today, we encourage you to share this with your friends and family. Be sure to follow us on all of our social platforms. From wherever you're listening, we hope you are encouraged by this week's message. Friends of mine, you're listening to Light of Life Podcast with your host, Bishop Nathaniel Lewis Bond. I want you to stay tuned for the next few moments of time. There's a word to inspire you, edify you, strengthen your faith, encourage you. I believe what you need from God, God has it for you waiting on you today. We're getting ready to go into a message that I pray will inspire, encourage, and uplift you and yours. Without further delay, let's go into service already in progress. I want you to open your Bibles to 2 Kings chapter 6. I'm not going to preach too long. And the sons of the prophets said unto Elisha, Behold now the place where we dwell is too straight for us. Verse number 2. Let us go, we pray thee, unto Jordan and take this every man Bean. Take thence every man a bean. And let us make us a place there where we may dwell. And he answered, Go ye. Look like they got some work in order. Tell somebody I got building on my mind. Somebody shout, Let's go to work. Who feel like God got something he wants you to be here? I've been around a lot of people, but very few folk were builders. Everybody who's building got a beam. Who came to have church? Any church folk in here? I didn't ask was any people in any church folk. Every man had a beam. Look at somebody, I feel like preaching now. Tell somebody I feel like building something. Tell somebody it's time to go to work. No backsliding time, there's no drawing up time. It's time to go to work. Tell somebody I got my work in order. Let us make us a place there that where we may dwell because it's pitiful to think you're going to be around if you don't have a mind to be you I'm already preaching look at somebody say, there's no future just looking at Popeye's chicken there's no future just eating uh, uh, pies chest pies the folks that's got a future building a future. The folks that's got a future, I can preach this. The folks that's got a future working toward a future. Tell somebody, I don't feel like talking to you if you're not talking about building for the future. That's, that's the members we want. We want members that's got a building mind, that's got a working mind. Tell somebody, I came over to work. And he answered, go ye. Third verse. And he said, be content, I pray thee, and go with thy servants. And he answered, I will go. So he went with them. When they came to Jordan, they cut down wood. We working. I feel like preaching this. Tell somebody I'm working. Leave me alone. I got business on my mind. 
you want to sit around and talk because you ain't doing that. But when you're swinging the axe, you ain't got time to mess around. Tell somebody, you better get out of my way before you get hit. Tell somebody it's time to build something. It's time to build something. We've been through COVID-19. We've been through hell and high water. It's time to build something. God didn't heal you for cancer for you to just eat chest back. Tell your neighbor, let's build. Tell your neighbor, let's build. Tell your neighbor, it's building time. It's working time. It's start swinging at somebody. Sw I ain't playing with the devil. I'm building some, Brother Marshall. I'm cutting down some trees. I'm cutting down some trees. I cut you down if you don't move. Tell somebody, we're looking for wood. We're looking for wood. So they went with them, and when they came to Jordan, they cut down the wood. Because you can't build without cutting something down. So there's some hell around it, we got to cut it down. There's some dryness around here, but we're going to cut it down. Everybody didn't come in and have church, but that's all right. I got an axe, baby, and I'm going to swing this one. Somebody draw back and swing. I'm sitting around here looking, you better watch yourself. I didn't come to look at you. I got an axe to swing. I didn't come to play church. I got an axe to swing. God had anointed me just to eat some chicken. God anointed me to cut some stuff down. God anointed me to build something. Swing your axe. Swing your axe. Relationship saying right, I'm cutting it. If I got some friends saying right, I'm cutting it. If I tell them, so I'm gonna cut some on this view if y'all don't get that again. The next verse, but as one was felling a beam, the axe head. Fell into the water. See, I, that's what I used to preach. But this whole message jumped out at me over there. Tell somebody there's a lot of junk falling in the water. Devil coming in like a flood. When you start working for God, things start falling in the water. What happened to brother so or whatever? He fell in the water. Yes, but that's all right. He'll swing in my ass. You're going to be in the water if you don't swing yours. Yes, but 
God has one was filling a beam because the devil get busy when you start building. But swing that, swing that, swing that. That's how you're going to get the devil off of you. Swing the axe. That's why you're going to get the devil from the whip, from around you. Swing the axe. Swing the axe. Tell two people, the devil got to go. The devil got to go. But as one was filling a beam, the axe head fell into the water and he cried and said, Alas, Master, for it was borrowed. Y'all take your seat. I feel like working. You're going to help me for the next 15 minutes. See, when you're building, sometimes you got borrowed stuff. I feel like preaching here. I feel my mind anointed. Some of these folks couldn't stay because they were borrowed. They, ne they never were. Tell somebody, you ought to be born in, not, not borrowed. Don't make me preach now. Don't make me preach. Jump up and tell somebody I was born in. I wasn't borrowed. Tell somebody I got the Holy Ghost. I've been saved. I've been down in the water. I've been washed in the blood. I wasn't borrowed. Borrowed things not going to last. It was borrowed. The devil is always doing something where there's building going on. Ask Nehemiah. Ask Nehemiah. When you start building the walls, folks start talking about you. Folks start doing stuff. He said, it was borrowed anyway. Because the enemy is out to frustrate your purpose. Tell somebody, that's as good as the devil wants for, is for you to get frustrated. Because, you know, when you get frustrated, you'll, see, you'll start saying stuff like, I'm sick of this. I'm tired of this. Get up and swing your axe. That's what you do. Take that energy and swing your axe. Can I tell you, the devil, if he can't get in you, he'll try to get in whatever you're working with. Tell somebody, I've had the devil to get in a few things I was working with. But swing the axe. Swing. <laughs> we all have our testimony. How the devil seeks to kill, steal, and destroy. Now let me go back. Take your seat. I've been preaching a long time. Let me go back. Let me, let me go back when I first started preaching this message. I didn't preach it from this angle. I didn't see this. Because I'm from the country. When the man said, throw a stick in the water, said go back to where you lost it. Tell somebody, I'm going to need a stick too. Yeah. 
How many want to go back to wherever you lost, whatever you lost? Now, that's not an easy question to answer. Because I have lost things, and folks say, where did you lose it? I said, man, if I knew where I lost it, it wouldn't be lost. I know sometimes things just get away from you. But Phyllis, we going back. Tell somebody, you need to go back to the hospital <laughs> so you can see what God has done. <laughs> Tell somebody, you know, Jeremiah said, uh, God said to Jeremiah, go down to the potter's house. He said, for them. Now notice, I'm preaching the Bible. I don't care what folks say. I will cause you. I've been serving God a long time. I don't always hear him that good. Sometimes God had to let me get in a situation so he can cause me to hear. I know you got a bunch of folks around church that ain't never built a, never built a hen nest. Like I hear God all the time. He just tells me all kinds of stuff. Yeah. You need to go to, down Highway 18 and take a psychological. Out of my best serving God, out of all the scriptures I know, I don't always hear him good. And sometimes God had to let me get to a place so he can cause me to hear. Go down to the potter's house, cause then, you know something now you used to didn't know, but you, you couldn't hear until you got there. Tell somebody, I had to go there. I had to go there. Trouble sent me there. Heartache sent me there. But when I got there, I heard God like I never heard him before. I know you, you're not going to understand this. But just tell somebody, in some of my worst situations, I heard God clearer than I ever heard it. I saw my mistakes. I saw what I should have done that I hadn't done. You know why you saw it? Because God had to cause you to get there. There's a lot of wisdom you wouldn't have if you never gone there. Look at somebody say, you're there for a purpose. Now here it is. Once he got there, working, the potter working with the clay on the wheel. And when he got there, he saw the clay had become marred in the hands of the potter. I know I'm a little too deep for you. But you can become marred and still saved. You can become marred and still be in his hands. You show me what a devil is in, in Jeremiah 18. The clay was in the potter's hand, but it was marred. But here's the good part. He, he made it again another. somebody God could have threw me away but he made it again another so when you look at me you try to make me still be it but I'm another you trying to make me be it but I'm another go tell somebody I know you're looking at me crazy like I'm it but I'm another I still like chicken, but I'm another. So don't worry about folks pointing their finger, saying you it. Tell somebody, I may look like it, but I'm another. Y'all help me give God some praise in it. And every 
every now and then, you got to get control of the situation in your mind. And sometimes we call it evangelist Gwen Ellison. Sometimes we call it get a handle. How many know what it means to get a handle? See, when you're all over the place, that means you don't have a handle. Some things are happening in your life that will upset you, but you got to get a handle. Y'all gonna let me preach a little longer? Tell some folks, you've had a few misfortunes in your life, but just get a handle. Now, I, I, that's what I preach in New York. But if I'm out in the country, I won't say get a handle. Because I, I know what he meant when he said go get a stick. Because country folks, they made them a handle for the sludge. They made them a handle for the axe. They made them a handle for the hoe. So t tell somebody, throw a stick at it. Uh, I, got, I, see, I see what I need to say. I just heard it. You got to throw a stick before you can swing a stick. What you gonna do about that job? Swing, swing. What you gonna do about that hard-headed child? Swing. What you gonna do about that doctor support report? Swing. What you gonna do about that bill you can't pay? Take a good cut. Let's stand to our feet. Get a handle. Tell your neighbor, I don't know what's going on in your life, but get a handle. I don't care how much trouble you're having, get a handle. Tell somebody else, throw a stick at you. Now that's what he did. That's what he did. He took a stick of wood. He said, show me where you failed it. He said, this is where the failure took place. And he grabbed the stick and threw it. Guess what the stick did? The stick ended up in the, in the, in the iron and the iron began to swim. God's will is so strong on your behalf. God's will is so intense about blessing you. God's will is so intense about making things work out for you that he's getting ready to make an axe swing. Tell somebody God's going to work it out if he had to make iron swim. Friends, we have just been inspired on the Light of Life podcast. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. God wants to do something special for you and yours in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Father God, let the words of my mouth speak life to those that are listening now. Bring salvation, bring healing and deliverance. Strengthen us where we're weak. Build us up where we're torn down. From this moment forward, May they walk in victory, the head and not the tail, lenders and not borrowers, above only and not beneath. Go with them and stand by them. Keep them, heal and save. Encourage and bless right now. I rebuke the spirit of discouragement. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you for tuning into the Light of Life podcast with Bishop Nathaniel Bond. We pray that you have been blessed and inspired. If you would like to be a blessing to our ministry, you can give at llmdhp.org slash giving. Be sure to follow us on all of our social platforms. So remember, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. <laughs>